Alright, so in this video, I'm gonna bring you a full guide on how to farm T16 with the Barbarian. So for this build, we're using the Rained Barbarian, of course, with the Whirlwind. We're able to blast through T16s in under a minute with just a 6k main stat. As you can see, we have terrible gear here. I made this character in about 10 minutes. I don't have any parent in my main stat, of course. So you can easily make this kind of character on day one or two of the season. So if you're going to play Barbarian this season in terms of using the Raker build, definitely use this build here for farming your keys early on as it is by far the best and fastest build for farming these early C16s. That way you can get your keys and your death breath of course. So it's super simple, super easy, bad inconvenience. Place that was all we're doing is keeping three things on cooldown, that is our wrath, our ignore pain and our sprint. This gives us a ton of damage, damage mitigation and movement speed. And while these are on cooldown, we're just gonna charge around and we're going to spin to apply our wind with that. And we're just flying through everything, destroying everything in our path. And as you can see, this build of course works even with just 6k main stat. And the scaling of it will also be really, really good. So the more gear and pattern you get, the easier it becomes. So let's look at the gear and see where the damage comes from, shall we? So as you can see, even with just 6k main stat, we're able to blast through everything. And it's a super easy build to set up as well. So in terms of the weapon, you want Ambo's Pride here. This basically makes it so your weapon also applies wind. And the total damage of that wind is still over one second. So basically, you don't need to press your wind at all. You apply it manually by just whirlwinding. So don't press your wind at all through an entire rift. And on your Ambo's Pride, you want cooldown reduction, 1% damage. The other weapon, Echoing's Fury here. Slaying enemies engulfs the wielder into a frenzy. This gives you 25% movement speed and attack speed and in here you want percent damage attack speed and cooldown reduction for the rings raise the ring of larceny for increased movement speed try and get two cylinders here high so you have 60 percent increased movement speed for four seconds after fearing an enemy get this at least 55 or even high if you can of course and also a chance to fear on hit is also pretty important but we do also have chance to fear on hit on echoing fury so with these two here you should have a permanent uptime of this 60 percent increased movement speed for the other ring, Band of Might, this is our toughness. Basically, after you are charging around, you will get this, of course, damage mitigation. Just make sure you have this up all the time, and you should be good. And of course, on both the rings, you want crit damage, crit chance, and if you can, get either cooldown reduction or flat damage roll. For gloves, get crit damage, crit chance, and cooldown reduction. For the shoulder, get strength, vitality, cooldown, and rent. On the helmet, get strength, vitality, crit chance, and you want to socket with a cooldown reduction gem. And for the chest, strength, vitality, rent damage. And for the belt lamentation get the high secondary at least get a 145 out of 150 and after that you want strength vitality all resistance and armor for the pants get strength vitality all resistance and for the boots strength vitality all resistance and armor for the amulet scratch amulet get physical damage critical hit damage and critical hit chance for the braces resistant arm guards get physical damage critical hit chance and then strength vitality and in terms of lender gems you of course want brood hoarder for gold and moon speed from this gold Take it for damage and toughness while you are spinning, i.e. your whirlwind. And then bane the trap for massive damage increase. And then for the cube, ingem here so we can use all our spells more often. And of course also so we can charge around and find elites. So an archive's gauge here for a big shield. Basically this applies to your squirt to have full uptime of your squirts because of these gloves here. And then for jewel piece, get obsidian with the Sodak for even more cooldown reduction so you have full uptime of your wrath. For the spells have rend bloodbath you don't need to press this at all during the entire rift this will be applied by manually just spinning around with your whirlwind have whirlwind with wind shear this makes it so when you hit enemies you get fury back sprint marathon for more movement speed ignore pain bravado for even more movement speed and toughness and then furious charge merciless assault so you can charge around even more and then wrath of berserker to get a ton of damage from the insanity rune for the passive vulnerable carthus for a reduced cooldown of your wrath Heart of Flesh to get even more movement speed after you pick up globes. Rampage for even more strength when you're killing enemies. And then Nerves of Steel, in case you like charging through molten explosions, all that, you might get hit a few times. This will make sure you don't die, of course. Now, if you're having some fairy problems, basically you run out of fury too often. What you can do is just re quickly replace your Nerves of Steel with Unforgiving. This will definitely help in terms of keeping your fury up, but it shouldn't be an issue once you get used to the build. And in terms of the follower, you of course run 25k main stat. So you get the full effect of the spells down here and these are the spells you want to pick and then you want the relic so your follower cannot die and of course we are doing t6 in rift so a few things we want to have for instance average band so that ties directly into the boom the harder so you get more gold from this and you get moon speed and then you will pick up the gold with the average band and you also get more pickup rates for the progression globes and of course also ring of world grinder so we're gonna have two piece of canes and two piece of sage on and we of course then get the full effect of both these sets here for increased key drops and double death breath 
And after that, a flavor of time and a nemesis braces to get the full effect of every pylon as well. If you found this guide useful, also make sure to check out my Season 26 playlist linked here, as that playlist will contain all my builds and guides for Season 26. So check out the playlist there, and I'll see you over there. Peace out, everyone.